Hey folks, I'm glad you're here. My name is Chris, and this is the Sons of Seaver YouTube channel where there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. Today, my brother Eric and I are going to be talking in depth about the Belanca Ranger 2.0. This video is a long time in the making. This is one of the first products that we ever asked for from a company, and when they finally got around to saying that they would send some, they weren't available in our size. So we had to wait a year for them to come back in stock in our size. We finally have them. We finally used them quite a bit. And and we want to tell you what we like and what we don't like about them. So I'm going to send things over to Eric to kick us off with his likes of the boot. There are timestamps down in the description if you want to jump around to different parts of the video. As always, if there's something that we didn't talk about that you want to know about, make sure to let us know down in the comment section and we will answer you. Okay, starting off with my likes of the Belenka Ranger 2.0. The first thing that I'll say is that it has really, really great barefoot qualities. So if you're on this channel looking for a good looking boot that'll give you a very barefoot experience, then this one is definitely a contender for you. It has a very wide toe box. It's not the whitest of all the shoes that we've gotten because we've gotten a shoe from real foot but this thing is pretty close there. Our feet have no problems with splaying out in the shoes. They're also zero drop. It's a pretty minimal stack height, about 10 millimeters is what we're gonna put it at, and they are super crazy flexible. It is also fairly light. It comes in at 15.9 ounces, so just about one pound, a little bit heftier than some of the barefoot boots that we've gotten, but really nothing crazy. It feels very light on your foot. So the barefoot qualities are definitely there, but this is still a very protective shoe. It goes pretty high up on your ankle and its water resistance is really, really great. Now the website says it is highly water resistant, but in our experience, this thing has been totally waterproof. The same with the York. This is the one that we had last winter. We've dunked both of these multiple times, gone through a lot of water with them, and our feet have always stayed dry as long as you don't let the water get above the gusset, which this one has a pretty high gusset. So as far as we're concerned, they seem like they are waterproof. There is a water resistant membrane in there, plus the oiled Nubuck leather that it's made out of. And you have a very water resistant, if not waterproof boot here. All right, so the last thing that I'll say about it is that I really like how this boot looks. It isn't simple. They do have some different panels on here, but they didn't go crazy with the paneling on it and it just looks really nice. So this is definitely a shoe that I can wear out on the town if I'm just going out with friends or going on a casual fun date with my wife. It's not something that's versatile enough to be dressed up to semi-formal like some of the boots we have are like the Jim Greens or the Lems Boulder Summits, but I think it does provide versatility and that you can wear it casually and obviously it works really well on the trail too. So those are the three things that I really like about it. I like the barefoot attributes that it has. I really like the waterproofing on it. Even though it says water resistant, it's proven to be waterproof for us and I think it's a dang good looking boot as well. Let's send it back over to Chris now so that he can talk about his likes of the shoe. Getting into my likes of the Belenka Ranger 2.0. The first thing that I want to talk about, and I mention this in almost every Belenka video, is how much I love the toe box. The toe box for Belenka is consistent across all of their models and the Bear Barracks models as well, and I absolutely love it. It's very roomy. They do a good job at making it look good as well, so I'm a huge fan of everything toe box from Belenka. The next thing I want to mention is the traction pattern on the bottom here. This thing has teeth. We actually experienced this traction pattern first when we reviewed the York last fall and winter and we loved it then it performs so well in all situations especially snow it shines really nicely up in the snowy mountains it just digs in and gives you all of the traction that you need in order to keep moving forward even if you happen to be going uphill so we definitely love this traction pattern. The last like that I want to talk about here is probably going to be the most lengthy one, and that is the fact that they have somehow managed to balance ruggedness and minimalism at the same time when it comes to the Ranger 2.0. So I want to start talking about that by talking about the stack height to talk about the minimalism. This thing has a four millimeter base stack height is what it mentions on the website. And then we know that the lugs are also another four millimeters. So there's eight millimeters right there between the base and the lugs. Pulling out the insole, it's pretty dang thin. I can't imagine it's more than two or three millimeters. So we will call this 10 millimeters overall. The crazy thing about that 10 millimeters is that when Eric and I review a boot that is under 12 millimeters typically, that tends to not be enough for us. It tends to be too minimal for a hardcore hiker. 
This guy gives us a different effect for whatever reason. We took this thing on a pretty rugged hike all the way up to the top of a mountain and our feet really didn't bother us that much. We had switched it with another boot that we took with us as well that had a little bit more stack height and we actually found this one to be more comfortable and while we did have more ground feel and maybe a little bit more foot fatigue than the other boot we were working with, we found that this one was more comfortable overall and it didn't bother our feet as much as we thought it would. I personally don't know what causes that. This is one of the more minimal boots that we've worked with, yet somehow maintains that ruggedness and doesn't lead us to crazy foot fatigue when doing longer, more rugged hikes. That's pretty cool. The last thing I wanna mention when it comes to this rugged minimalism is the way that they've added a reinforced panel here at the toe and then allowed the outsole to wrap up over the heel, just adding more protection, yet somehow we still have this fantastic flexibility in this guy. With my likes of the Ranger 2.0 out of the way, it's time for us to get into our dislikes, but first we want to mention some affiliates. We do have a link down in the description for Belenka, so if at any point you are interested in going and checking out any of their other offerings or taking a closer look on their website at the Ranger 2.0, make sure to use that link that's down in the description to navigate over to their website. Okay, when it comes to my dislikes of the Belenka Ranger 2.0, I don't really have anything to say here. I don't think they really took many missteps with this boot at all. If there's one thing that I would add to it, it might be a pull tab there on the back. The boot's fairly easy to get on anyways. It's got speed hooks and so you can unlace it down you know, down to the third hook and then slip your foot in there, but it would be just a little bit easier. And I think I would like the look a little bit more too, if it had a cool leather pull tab on there. The one that they had on the York was really weak sauce. I uh, did not like this one at all. So a real pull tab would be appreciated. This one's almost ripped off actually. And it, like the first time that I used it, that's when it started to rip on me. So if they did add one, I would hope that it would be a legit one that you could get your finger all the way through. A little bit thicker piece of leather would be nice. So that brings us to my final opinion about the Belenka Ranger 2.0. And honestly, this is a really, really tough boot to beat in my mind, especially if you're just looking for a really good looking, really well performing barefoot hiking boot. You're gonna get a little bit of versatility out of it because Belenka always has such good styles. It's gonna perform well on the trail for you. We talked about how it's really minimal, but somehow it's still very comfortable. And this outsole grips really, really well. The gusset goes about an inch higher than it does on the York, which I really appreciate. And the water resistance on it has always proven to be really good for us. So all of those things combined make this a really formidable boot. If Belenka's not on your radar, they really need to be. The products that they're making are super quality. They're priced pretty well. They're all made in Europe. There is a ton to like about their stuff. And I think this is definitely one of their best boots that they have. Back over to Chris now so that he can give us his dislikes of the boot. Getting into my dislikes of the Ranger, I really only have one. I thought I would have more than one. So I might mention some of those, but I'm gonna mention the one that I did have to begin with, and that's that there's almost not enough laces in order to do this thing all the way up to the tightness that I want it. I usually, when I get a shoe, the first thing I do is I let the laces out quite a bit, then I get my foot in it, and then I tighten it down to whatever I need it to be tightened at. And for this one, the looseness that I needed, I actually needed more laces. So I don't know what the actual solution here is. I don't know if this is a comment they get a lot, but I could have used a little bit more lace on mine. Some things I thought I wasn't going to like. I didn't think I was gonna like this kind of ruffly tongue that it comes with, but that was a non-factor. It didn't bother me at all. The other thing I thought I wasn't going to like is the fleece lining. I thought it was going to be too warm, but the day that Eric and I hiked in these things up to the top of a mountain, it actually got pretty warm that day. I started off with a hoodie. I had to take it off pretty quickly. It probably got into the 80s that day, and we did not notice that our feet got particularly hot in these. So when you get down to the lower temperatures, the fleece lining is probably going to help you a lot, especially paired with the right socks. But in the warmer weather, it actually didn't bother us. Getting into my final opinion of the Ranger 2.0 from Bilanka, would I recommend this thing? Was it worth 
the year long wait that Eric and I had before we could get it in for a review. Absolutely. I think this thing is awesome. I love especially the like that I talked about, the balance of the ruggedness and the minimalism. The barefoot features in here are awesome. If you're looking for a really minimal, but still very protective and capable barefoot boot, this is probably the guy that you're looking at. One thing I didn't even mention was the waterproofing on this guy. I would love it if their gusset went up a little bit higher, but below the gusset, obviously, it was perfectly waterproof. We had no issues with that. So this thing is very well-rounded. I also think it looks really good. So if you've been looking into this thing because you like the look of it and you're wondering about the performance, just know the performance is awesome. So if you already like the look of the boot, I would definitely go and snag yourself a pair. Folks, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All those things really help the channel out. If you're interested in any of the products that we talked about in this video, there will be links to them down in the description. If we have discount codes for any of those companies, they will be featured with the links. If you want to get more content from us, there are three different places you can get it. The first one is Patreon, where for $1 a month, you can get exclusive behind the scenes content we don't post anywhere else. If you want to be most up to date with what we are working on, make sure to follow us on Instagram, where we are constantly posting unboxing videos. Go follow us on Strava if you're interested in seeing mini reviews in real time of the products we're using and what we're using them for. Strava allows you to track and post about your different activities. We track and post about our runs, trail runs, hikes, paddle boarding, and weightlifting, and we do little mini reviews on the products we're using during those activities. Go follow us there, and we will follow you back. We appreciate your view, and as always, we will catch you in the mountains.